Hi guys, welcome to Mark Space. On today's cybersecurity news, how your voice can leave you vulnerable to cyber attacks. But first, San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department pays $1.1 million ransom after a cyber attack. Let's dive straight in. Tonight, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department says it paid $1.1 million in ransom to a hacker. The decision by the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department to pay the ransom demanded by cyber criminals after a ransomware attack is a controversial one. While it may have been the only way to recover encrypted systems and avoid the disclosure of sensitive data, the FBI and other law enforcement agencies always recommend not paying ransoms in these attacks. The fact that cities, hospitals and school districts are privileged targets of cyber criminals is a worrying trend as these institutions tend to have poor defense and store a lot of sensitive data. This highlights the importance of implementing strong cyber security measures to prevent attacks from happening in the first place. The fact that the ransomware gang is suspected to be from Eastern Europe and has already targeted US entities in the past is also concerning as it suggests that these criminals are becoming increasingly sophisticated and are able to target high-profile targets with relative ease. Overall, this story serves as a reminder of the importance of cybersecurity and the potential consequences of failing to adequately protect sensitive data. It also raises important questions about the role of law enforcement agencies in responding to cyber attacks and the best way to prevent and mitigate such incidents in the future. How your voice can leave you vulnerable to cyber attacks. Are you tired of hearing from your mom asking for money for the third time this month? Does your boss seem to be calling you at all hours of the day asking help with a personal matter? Well, it turns out you might not be talking to who you think you are talking to. According to the recent study by Mark Caffey, AI technology is fueling a rise in online voice scams with just 3 seconds of audio required to clone a person's voice. That's right, scammers are using artificial intelligence to clone voices and then send a fake voicemail or call to the victim's contacts pretending to be in distress. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms it is not. But don't worry. It is not just you falling for it. The study found out that one in every four adults has previously experienced some kind of AI voice scam, with 77% of the victims saying they had lost money as a result. It's even worse, as a lot of adults said they weren't confident that they could identify the cloned version from the real thing. So how are these scammers doing it? Well, with adults sharing their voice data online at least once a week, it's easier than ever to manipulate how somebody sounds. McAvey found out that more than a dozen AI voice cloning tools are freely available for download on the internet, with many requiring only a basic level of experience and expertise to use. In some instances, just 3 seconds of audio was enough to produce an 85% match, but with more investment and effort, it's possible to increase the accuracy. The more accurate the clone, the better chance a cyber criminal has of duping somebody into handing over their money or taking other requested actions. Scammers are now using voice cloning to call or message victims' contacts pretending to be in distress. And with these scams, based on exploiting the emotional vulnerabilities inherent in close relationships, a scammer could net thousands of dollars in just few hours. But there is hope. McAfee suggests setting a verbal code word with kids, family members, or trusted close friends that only they could know. Make a plan to always ask for it if they call you, or text you, or email you to ask for your help, particularly if they are older or more vulnerable. Always question the source and be wary of any request for money or personal information. The overriding feeling among the research team, though, was that artificial intelligence has already changed the game for cyber criminals. The barrier for entry has never been lower, which means it has never been easier to commit cybercrime. So remember, 
The next time you get a call from your mom asking for money, make sure it's actually her. And if it's not, maybe it's time for you to change that code word. Hi guys, thanks for listening. If you like this episode and you like to hear other episodes of this nature, please like, subscribe and click the notification button. As always, stay safe.